Hi, I'm Peter Capaldi. I play the Doctor, and you're watching EMS Productions. Hello everybody and welcome along to today's video where I'm just going to be giving you guys a quick little breakdown and analysis of the Christmas special trailer for Twice Upon a Time that we got earlier this week. So that was a, it was a really exciting to finally see that trailer. I mean, there had been a lot of discussion about whether we would get something at San Diego Comic Con and it turned out that we did. We got an absolutely fantastic, seriously exciting and enticing trailer. So let's get straight into a breakdown of it. Now that very opening shot you can see of the TARDIS sat on this snowy sort of area, snowy planet, is a seems a very, very, very likely at this stage to be from the Tenth Planet, the first Doctor story, his regeneration story, set on Antarctica on the snow-capped base. And so they are clearly, what we see from the whole of this trailer, definitely going to be doing a full-on link into the Tenth Planet. Then we get this absolutely phenomenal little sequence here of um, the William Hartnell Doctor sort of merging into the David Bradley first Doctor. The CGI and special effect on this is absolutely stunning. They've done such an amazing job in making this look as sort of smooth and perfect as possible with a nice little quote from um, the Tenth Planet as well which I thought was, it, it fitted quite well I think um, with the, sort of what we're looking at, we're talking about emotions Have you no emotions sir? And nice iconic line with the Mondasian Sidemen way back when in 1966 but I thought yeah it was just so brilliantly designed this, this little scene of the episode and I wonder if we'll get a few more of these style sequences or to be honest whether this will actually be in the episode or whether it's just a sort of trailer shot it would seem a bit of a waste to actually use it as just a trailer shot given how absolutely fantastic it is so we'll just have to wait and see after that we get a couple of repeated shots that we already saw at the end of the Doctor Falls with the first Doctor and the twelfth Doctor sort of meeting for the first time but then we get this very intriguing little shot here of what appears to be Polly the first Doctor companion stood with the first Doctor as his hand is appears to be glowing with regeneration energy and set to regenerate so it already looks like we're actually going to be getting the first Doctor's companions appear in this episode again which is quite an exciting thing. The setting of this, it looks like it's set within the snow cap base that we um, see in the, in the Tenth Planet in the first Doctor's episode. So it seems to be we really are going to be properly going into that episode as well as having this finale episode for the Twelfth Doctor. And of course Polly's back as well, does that mean we're going to get Ben as the other first Doctor companion as well? It's it's just amazing to see that they're actually going to be putting in sort of classic companions and recasting them and bringing them back in. I mean I've seen some people sort of um, commenting on the colour of Polly's top, which apparently is incorrect. It's meant to be red I think or something, but it's pink. I had no idea of this, so whatever, doesn't really bother me. I mean, let's be honest, with the canon of the show, all, we, all we've officially seen is it in black and white, so how can we tell what uh, colour her top is? It's just production stills that tell us that it's red. And it's not the actor anyway, so why does it really matter very much? I think that's just being a little bit pedantic, personally. And of course, the other thing, the big thing to mention with that shot is it features David Bradley's first Doctor with a golden glowing hand of regeneration energy. So it seems we're going to get the reasoning behind the first Doctor's regeneration as well as the twelfth Doctor's regeneration in this episode. They're sort of going to maybe link the two together and have them both not wanting to leave, but maybe helping each other regenerate or something like that. I don't quite know. I mean... Obviously, I, I kind of hope they don't go too far with the re regeneration energy for the first Doctor, given that there was no golden regeneration energy when the first Doctor regenerated. So feel free to use it beforehand, but I think they mustn't change that final moment of the first Doctor's regeneration because it is so iconic at this stage. And obviously with that shot we saw the next shot, then we see is the twelfth Doctor's sort of hands regenerating. It looks like one that's just been copied again from the Doctor Falls, but it I clearly is again trying to show the parallels between the first and the twelfth Doctor both at the end of their lives just at really very different stages of their lives in the grand scheme of things. Then there's this shot which I absolutely adore, such and I think this is one of the most iconic shots in a very long time of those two TARDISes sat next, stood next to each other with the Twelfth Doctor and the First Doctor stepping out of them. It's just sort of putting two eras together, sort of really linking the show back to its past and back to the beginning. I think it's just they, I think the, they really brought the blue colour as well really well in that shot and it just sort of, it shows also the massive size difference between the original TARDISes um, back in the 60s and 70s and the current TARDIS which is just so much taller um, than what we used to see and I, as far as I know it's pretty much an accurate recreation of the um, first Doctor's TARDIS. I think maybe the police box sign at the top is slightly incorrect or something um, but other than that it's pretty much perfect. If you want to know more specifically on that to do follow Clayton Hickman on uh, Twitter. He is absolutely brilliant for trivia. Doctor Who, he knows everything about TARDIS, he knows random Doctor Who trivia facts from beyond belief, you wouldn't know. So if you want to find out more about that, check out his Twitter. Then we see this couple of shots on this sort of, seems to be a World War One battlefield, where we, it's a, apparently the whole sort of moment has been frozen in time, so clearly we're going to have some sort of playing with time element in this episode, frozen in a single moment, what was that reference to? The, um, 
Day of the Doctor, um, the last multi-doctor story, so maybe that's something that they might bring back into it, I don't know, but certainly off this bit it looks a sort of a very barren World War I battlefield with just a couple of frozen soldiers stuck in the middle of the battlefield. One fairly clearly is Mark Gatiss, but the other one, for anybody who hadn't worked it out, is actually Toby Whithouse, is this other one you can see here. I know it's a little bit random, I mean it's very random that he's actually in this episode, and it's a little bit hard to tell the likeness, but that is Toby Whithouse, for whatever for reason they decided, let's bring back some old writers and make him actors again, for I have no idea why, but there we go, they did it. Nothing much to say about this this shot really, other than it's a nice shot of the Doctor flicking away a snowflake and the Doctor's massive long hair, which just looks awesome. And then of course the glorious Mark Gatiss line, it was always going to come up at some points, I don't suppose one of you was a Doctor, referencing back to, well, uh, I guess the, the day of the Doctor's probably the main one, but I can't remember if that's referenced back further or not, I've lost track at this stage. And obviously Capaldi's having none of it, it's just, are you are you, are you having a laugh? Have you even trying to make a joke with that kind of thing? I thought that was quite a nice little moment from that. But there's also the intrigue of who Mark Gatiss' character actually is. Because he's just been listed as the captain, whoever that may be. I mean, I've seen people sort of um, suggesting that he might be uh, the Brigadier's dad or something like that, or a relative of the Brigadier or something like that, because obviously it's set before the unit years, essentially, because it's World War One based. Which I think would be quite nice, obviously they're being a bit vague by saying just the captain, which maybe suggests that there is something significant about their name, it is, he is a Lethbridge Stuart, possibly, or something like that. But it'll be fascinating to see. Is Peter back in the first Doctor's TARDIS? Just looks absolutely glorious. I mean, I think we, we, they're using the set again from an adventure in space and time, which I think they also used in Hellbent as well, to bring the first Doctor's TARDIS back to life. And so it'll be fas fantastic to see one more time Peter Cavaldi stood in the first Doctor's TARDIS. And at some point we're going to be getting Mark Gatiss in there as well as his character. Um, I'm not quite sure how or why or what he's going to be doing in there, but he's getting a little bit involved as well. For some reason that shot just did remind me of um, the Brigadier when he stood inside the TARDIS and the Three Doctors. I think it's just that sort of military soldier behind, with the white sort of around us behind him. It just kind of, yeah, gave me a sort of thoughts of that, that scene from the Three Doctors. Then you have your fairly standard generic massive explosions in trailers with seemingly the First and the Twelfth Doctor being exploded away, out of the way sort of thing. Um, which is pretty standard for a trailer. And then there's this other shot which is going to be absolutely brilliant to see this scene when we have the First Doctor step inside the Twelfth Doctor's TARDIS. So that is going to be a sight to behold. What sort of comment is he going to make about the 12th Doctor's TARDIS, how much it's changed? I think it's just going to be fascinating to watch sort of how the first Doctor would react to seeing this high-tech new TARDIS all these years later. I think it'll be a brilliant scene. And of course the final big thing from this trailer is that Paul Mackey is back for Christmas. Bill will be returning for one final appearance at Christmas this year. It wasn't wholly unexpected, let's be honest. It was kind of like you probably felt she was going to be in it. Just It just sort of felt a bit kind of like they'd left it without proper closure, I felt, in the in the Doctor Falls, when she seems to just leave the Doctor there lying on the floor dying. So I think it'll be really nice to have one sort of final departure and ending for the two of them. And of course it's always good to see a bit more of Bill because she's been so fantastic in the series. Of course quite how she's involved will be interesting to see. Will she be actually involved in the Doctor's regeneration or will she sort of turn up as her puddle form, watery form, say hi to the Doctor, something will happen, she'll leave. Will, will the Doctor regenerate on his own I think will be quite an interesting thing to watch. We obviously had it with the 10th Doctor, Clara was there for the 11th Doctor, but what will happen for the 12th Doctor? And then we just have that title, Twice Upon a Time, which I think is a really nice sort of poetic title to finish it. I mean. There were probably better titles, maybe like Twelfth Night, I've seen a lot of people commenting, which would have been a really good title for the episode, but I think Twice Upon a Time does work really well as a nice sort of poetic ending for the Twelfth Doctor's era. And so that's about it for the trailer. I might as well just wrap up a couple of other things that I've seen sort of over the past couple of days. There was a tweet I saw yesterday from uh, some Doctor Who fan account trying to make themselves fact. Here it is. Which seems to confirm that Clara Oswald is returning for, Syria for the Christmas special for one final appearance. I can confirm now that this is not confirmation. They refuse to quote their source and we haven't had anything official. So it's literally just them posting a tweet trying to get some RTs. So I would say it's very, very likely that Clara will appear, Jenna Coleman's Clara will appear at some point in the, in the Christmas special. But don't take this tweet as confirmation. Nobody has officially stated it yet. It's just been tabloid comments and insiders that we supposedly have saying it. I mean, in terms of a Clara return for the um, Christmas special, I think I was kind of thinking, well, how would be the best way to do it? I think personally, for me, I'd quite like if they did a similar style to what they did in Heaven Sent, with the Doctor in his sort of mind palace TARDIS, and then Clara kind of. Although, um, for most of she doesn't appear, and then at the end she has a couple of lines where she sort of gets the Doctor going again and gets him to fight it. So I kind of want. Something, but like something similar to that where she kind of gets the Doctor to regenerate, sort of says, it's time to regenerate, you've got to do it now, something like that. I think we'd be brilliant. And I, I really think she should have an appearance. I know some people are against it, but personally, I think you have to look at it as 
Whether you like her or not, she is the most important character to the Fourth Doctor. She was the most significant in his lifespan, one of the most significant characters in the whole of the Doctor's life, because she's been involved with virtually, virtually every single Doctor, whether that's something you're pleased with or not. So I think it would be sort of almost wrong if she didn't turn up one more time for one little cameo appearance in the Christmas special, even if it's just like a ten second sort of I remember Doctor remembering her or something like that, I think it would just feel a little bit wrong if that happened. And so overall this trailer makes me really really excited for the Christmas special. It looks like it's going to be an absolutely phenomenal episode, properly linking back into the Tenth Planet, probably explaining properly why the First Doctor regenerated, linking it with the Twelfth Doctor regenerating as well. It's just got all these elements, it's sort of the anniversary special we've always wanted, or certainly Mo I think Moffat's wanted to write for probably several years and it just never quite happened. So his final attempt is going for a proper sort of full-on fanboy kind of episode that you just love to make as a, as a showrunner like that for his final farewell and I think it looks like it's going to be a phenomenal episode. Of course we've still got the questions of whether we're going to have the, the um, Twelfth Doctor's tiny appearance in the Day of the Doctor with just his eyebrows appear. I wonder if that's going to be rectified or sort of mentioned in the Christmas special. I do really, I do kind of hope we get one a sort of reason behind that and quite what's happening there. Even if it's just a sort of one minute scene that just shows the Doctor sort of flying the TARDIS to save Gallifrey or something like that. Just Maybe that could be the last thing he does in his life would be to sort of save Gallifrey before he regenerates. I think that would be a really nice way to sort of round off that little arc and that appearance. And one thing I will say about the First Doctor, or David Bradley's portrayal of the First Doctor, I think there probably will be, and sort of has been to some degree, some criticism of maybe the way he's voicing and playing the First Doctor, but I think it's just because the li some of these iconic lines of the First Doctor are so ingrained in our minds as to the exact pronunciation of every word that they say, that he says, sort of his speech to Susan at the end of Dalek Invasion of Earth, that's so iconic and so well known that David Bradley is never going to be able to quite recreate that in the exact same way, which is for us kind of the only acceptable way for it to be. So I kind of hope that he mainly gets new lines that the First Doctor hasn't said before in the Christmas special, just so that we don't have something to compare against. And I think when you see him in a full episode, he really will feel properly like the William Hartnell First Doctor. But there we go guys, this video is getting on a bit now, so I'll wrap it up. Um, I've loved this trailer, I'm so hyped for this episode. It's just so frustrating that it's five months away. They've completely finished filming. Clearly it's not gonna take five months for pre-production, so by September time, this episode is gonna be like ready to air, so it's gonna be so painful and frustrating. But once it comes, it's gonna be amazing. But guys, do let me know in the comments below what you thought of this trailer, whether you've got any fan theories, any ideas of what you think is gonna happen in the Christmas special, or if you're just generally excited about it, do let me know in the comments below. And remember to like this video, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you again very, very soon for another video. Goodbye.